Here are 20 free iPhone and iPad games to try in 2021. From the people behind Touchgrind BMX 2 and Touchgrind Skate 2 comes their next sports game, Touchgrind Scooter. It has the same control schemes where you use two fingers to, well, control the scooter. It also has significantly better graphics than the prior games in the series. Customize your scooter, unlock more scooters, enjoy pretty realistic physics, go into different game modes and challenge other players with the ranking system on each location. It's also a premium free game with no pay to win elements. You can only purchase bonus scooters and maps, but they are not required to enjoy the full experience. While this game doesn't have the graphics of Grid Autosport on the App Store, but what it has going for it is one of the best rally driving experiences on the App Store. Like many other rally games, you have to go from point A to point B and try to not miss any checkpoints along the way. But you can also jump into modes such as career, a free ride, special stages, daily challenges, and you can tune and unlock new cars in the garage. The physics of the cars and surfaces are excellent here. Drifting around corners, dealing with different surface terrain, nailing jumps and so on are done really well. The game has a few inconveniences that are worth noting though. It occasionally has ads, it has no controller support, and it is only available on iPhone. In 2021, MMO Albion Online made its way to the App Store with cross-platform support. The mobile version's only obvious difference are with the control scheme and user interface, which have been tailored for a smaller display and touchscreen. Albion Online is a fantasy sandbox experience featuring a big open world, player-driven economy, classless combat system, and intense PvP battles that are somewhat similar to a MOBA in many ways. Just be warned, Albion Online isn't really a newbie-friendly game. You'll want to get some levels and experience up, and then you'll see the game at its full potential. Smash Legends is inspired by the real-time brawler Super Smash Bros, but this one has a top-down perspective and shorter three-minute matches. There are a number of modes that you can try out. Team Deathmatch, 3v3, Battle Royale, eight player free-for-all, Harvest, four player free-for-all, and Duel, 1v1. The game is pretty self-explanatory and you're only going to enjoy it if you're into these type of brawling games. One thing I love is that it has cross-play with other players on Steam, iOS, and Android, and you can invite other players into your lobby with a team code or player code, no matter their platform. I've always loved these BMX games. The developer is really good at providing a casual tone to them, but also a well-polished experience from the cartoonish art style and slick controls for the touchscreen. Their latest game, Pumped BMX Flow, plays much like their previous games, but you can now ride forever with infinite runs. The jumps keep going as long as you do. Players can also jump into daily runs, challenges, and you can unlock characters and bikes. You can pay to remove the ads, but they don't appear that often anyway. You can also pay extra to unlock everything immediately, but it's more fun just playing with the normal progression. What's a free list without a classic card game? MTG Arena is definitely one of the best card games on the App Store to date. You will unlock powerful decks, earn rewards, and jump into action with a variety of game formats. It's very easy to get into, you don't need much experience with uh, card games or magic in general. There are also casual matches to jump into so you can learn at your own pace. Like many other games on the list, it has cross-play functionality. Okay, while this game technically isn't out until October the 8th, I thought it was worth showing here. PUBG New State offers an original Battle Royale experience tuned for mobile. What is the difference between this one and the original? Honestly, not that much. 
PUBG Mobile is the vanilla experience catering to new and casual players. I'd say New State is a more hardcore expansion. New State also has improved graphics and physics, but it's not next gen like other YouTubers will tell you. It's just slightly closer to the PC release, maybe. New State takes place on a new map too, called Troy, which is a large abandoned city with a mall, skyscrapers, etc. There is nothing better than a classic 2D platformer. Daddish 2 is about a dad who is also a radish. This father is on an adventure to save his missing kids. The gameplay is pretty self-explanatory. You'll enjoy different levels full of platforming mechanics, different bosses and obstacles. It also has controller support, which is fantastic. The game does have occasional ads, but that's it. You can pay to remove this if you'd like. It's kind of hard, so if you're not a patient person, it may not be for you. But if you like these types of games, get it. It may be easy to brush this game off at first glance because of its, well, overwhelming on-screen effects, but Pew Pew Live is one of those classic great arcade twin joystick shooter games that require you to adjust your eyes to all the action. This one has single player levels, community made levels, multiplayer, leaderboards, and it's 100% free with no ads or in-app purchases. Brilliant. Punishing Grey Raven is a 3D action RPG. And if you love Honkai Impact or Genjin Impact maybe, this is the next thing for you to try out. It provides a more linear and arcade structure though, where players must go into missions to save mankind from robotic armies. The combat is actually pretty good for this type of genre. It involves a lot of different mechanics, from dodging, attacking at the right time, using special abilities, and so forth. It just sucks that the game has no controller support. Keep in mind, this game is the most pay to win on the list, but it's very difficult to find 100% free 3D action RPGs. We have had old school RuneScape on the App Store for a while, but in 2021, the full RuneScape experience arrived on mobile. The core experience here is exactly the same as the PC version, but its only downside is that the UI is not very well optimized for iPhone and iPad. But you can still journey into epic quests, battle bosses, and you can master 28 skills. This one is up there with the quality of Slay the Spire, and it's free. The game doesn't push microtransactions or ads at you either. In fact, they are completely optional and don't wreck the full experience for the game. Dicey Elementarist is actually more inspired by a popular dice game called Yahtzee. But Dicey Elementarist adds deck building, random variables, roguelite, unique heroes, different game mechanics, and Yes, the Dice Master. Here we have an epic sword fighting experience where every moment determines life or death. Ronin the Last Samurai has you going into battles where you will obviously try to win. You can do this by either attacking or defending at the right time to activate a parry. I like to think of the gameplay as maybe a little bit like Bleak Sword mixed with the Japanese visual style of World of Demons on Apple Arcade. As you play, you'll unlock new abilities, you can invite pets into your battles, and you will encounter strong enemies in each chapter. 2021 will be one of the first times that I've ever recommended an auto runner on this channel. Crash Bandicoot On The Run is more than just a runner though, it's filled with more content than what you'd usually see with these types of games. You've got iconic locations and bosses, a base that you can build and upgrade, different characters or skins to play with, and many in-game activities and obstacles to avoid. What's even more, this is a Crash Bandicoot game. If there is one runner that should be decent, it needs to be this one. And guess what? It's pretty decent. Secret Neighbor is a social horror game set in the Hello Neighbor universe. 
you play as either the intruders or the neighbor trying to stop the trespassers from completing their objectives in the house. You can do this by using disguises and traps. It's really fun exploring the house with friends and trying to figure out who is disguised as the neighbor. This version is also cross-play compatible with other platforms. It's honestly very similar to Among Us, but it's just in 3D. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I will say, the game looks really awful on low-end devices, so maybe make sure you can play it on a recent iPhone or iPad. Despite being released way back in 2003, it wasn't until 2021 that Samarost 1 landed on the App Store with enhanced graphics and new music too. It's also 100% free with no ads or in-app purchases. The game won't be for everyone. Let me make that crystal clear. You have to be into point and click adventures to have fun here. It's also incredibly short. You can finish this game in under 20 minutes in some cases on first try, if you put your mind into it. That being said, it's one of the best point and click adventures of all time, maybe. So get it if you're into this genre. Marvel Future Revolution is probably the most popular free game released on the App Store so far in 2021, maybe. It's definitely not on a level as Genjin Impact, and some may even find it boring as it kind of plays itself because it has autoplay in it. But there is something so satisfying here, being able to play as iconic Marvel superheroes in the open world on offer. My favorite hero is definitely Spider-Man. It also has the best graphics on this list, thanks to Unreal Engine, and it has 60 FPS support or 120 FPS support on iPad Pro. Awesome. It just seriously, 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 seriously sucks that it has no controller support, which is a reoccurring theme with this video, sadly. As the title of the game says, Frog-like is a retro roguelike. Players must try to survive as long as they can while defending Kronos, the god of time. But he is the frog version and can talk. You must defend Kronos whilst dodging enemies. The closer you get to the end of the time, the more intense it becomes. There are different stages, you can upgrade items, you can unlock skins, and more. I love this game for another reason too. The developer has added a skin of me that you can unlock after completing the tutorial. Cool, thank you. While it has ads, you can easily remove them for a cheap price. In this game, you must help Pedro rescue his kidnapped wife and kids. To do this, you'll lay waste to the enemies across 37 action-packed levels on foot, on a motorcycle, and a skateboard. This is the mobile version of My Friend at Pedro. The controls have been fine-tuned for a touchscreen experience, and the level structure is catered more for a casual audience. But the core gameplay, movement, mechanics, and so on are the same. You can play the whole game for free, and you can restart from checkpoints, but ads will appear. A cheap premium unlock is available to pay in order to remove the ads. Some of you may be saying, dude, Wild Rift was released in 2020. Mm, technically, it was released in closed beta in late 2020, and then the open beta was launched in March 2021. If you go into this thinking it will have the polish and content of the PC game, no. League of Legends Wild Rift is the mobile version of LoL. It has 5v5 MOBA battles, but it has been optimized for touchscreen controls and more fast-paced games for the casual audience that you'll find on mobile. That means there is sadly no cross-play with PC. The game also runs at 60 FPS on iPhone and iPad and 120 FPS on iPad Pro devices. It has quickly become the 33rd most downloaded game on the US App Store. While there is currently no launch date for Warframe Mobile, we'll learn more about it as we get closer to the new 
War expansion, which is planned for a 2021 release. Warframe Mobile will be exactly the same game as the PC version, with full crossplay, controller support, and the same graphics. Yiga is set to release in December 2021. It is a 3D action RPG monster hunting game set in an alien world. What's cool is that the game is said to have no in-app purchases, which is unheard of for this type of mobile game. We'll have to wait and see if that actually becomes a reality. Rocket League Side Swipe is a standalone Rocket League experience. The game has a new side-on perspective and features 1v1 or 2v2 two-minute matches. The touchscreen controls look very easy to use and it will have controller support too. You may have seen this game showcased at WWDC. Devil May Cry Pinnacle of Combat is a Devil May Cry mobile game coming later in the year. I honestly don't know much else. Racing Master is being developed by NetEase, a questionable dev at times, but I'm super excited that the great Codemasters are collaborating on this game too. You know, the people that brought you the F1 games, Grid, Dirt, Project Cars, and so on. We don't know much else apart from that. Apex Legends Mobile might be the next PUBG or Fortnite on the App Store. It's one of the most popular free FPS games out there and is coming soon to iOS. This is the mobile version and it will sadly not have crossplay, but the visuals don't look too downgraded so far. What do you think of this list of free iPhone and iPad games? Are you happy with what I put on offer or do you think some games are missing? I tried really, really hard to pick games that are not pay to win, which was hard, so let me know how I went. Anyway, leave a like to show your support and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple gaming related. My name is Dewey and thanks for watching.